Hey, what's up, N scalers? If you model the modern era like me, you need your intermodal, you need your containers. And if you want containers, I got awesome news for you. I just uh, was looking at the latest Walther's catalog, and they also have a version online as well. And I found these containers here which were not the usual ones you see. They were not Walther's or Kato or a Deluxe, but these were containers from a company called, I don't know, was Roland or Roland? I'll just call it Roland because there's two L's. Roland Industrial Limited. And they make 40-foot um, boxes and 20-foot boxes. Um, the line is kind of limited. They have um, the 40-foot boxes. They have uh, Maersk. Hanjin and Hyundai and um, for the 20 foot boxes they got uh, Hyundai uh, Capital which is a leasing company oh, I'm getting focus here Capital Leasing um, Extra CTI and Haypack Lloyd and so I was curious about these these were new containers I've never heard of them before um, and um, you know the the deluxe the Lux so far makes some of the best containers, but their uh, supply is really low because they've been having stocking issues with the whole um, uh, China manufacturing uh, debacle. I decided to order these. The prices are pretty much, uh, the sale prices are here. The prices are kind of competitive with the uh, deluxe containers. So I um, ordered them last week and they came in the mail and here they are. Um, I got them today. So I ordered two pairs of 20-foot containers and uh, one pair of 40-foot containers in Hanjin. And the 20-footers are for capital leasing. I wanted to see how they work. So here's the packaging. It's very small and light and neat. Not uh, like uh, Deluxe where you have a lot of wasted plastic and space there. This packaging looks very similar to the old Deluxe packaging or the Walther's a container packaging it's just a plastic bag and uh, you know a label here so I'm gonna open these up and see how they work and also compare them to some of the other containers on the market and see if they match up or and also if they fit in any uh, intermodal uh, well cars so here's the 40-foot box the Hanjin uh, there is Hanjin is a South Korean shipping company so uh, you do want to put these in uh, some of your container trains that offload stuff that comes from Asia. So let's open this. And uh, off they go. Um, there seems to be something separating. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's just a little foam pad to kind of keep them. Uh, protected. Let's look closely here. The detail looks really nice. The printing looks nice. What I thought was cool is on the upper left hand corner, I'm going to see it really carefully. It's the website URL to the Hanjin company. Um, the prototype containers have those uh, on them, but interestingly, the deluxe containers do not have the website um, listed on their containers. You see the unit numbers here? and the Hanjin logo and the unit number on the side. And here in the back, it's a little sharper now, you got some of the, the dimensional data. But what I thought was really cool was this, got the unit number at the top ends of the container, which I've never seen before. So that's a really nice detail. Let's take a close look at, oh my gosh, wow. Um, Look at that. You got the little like clearance warning label there. You can't really see it. I can't really focus that much. See up on upper left. Wow, this is some really good border cure. Um you can see the IBCs. There's no tabs, unlike the Walthers or the Kato or the Concor containers, which I think are not very good. But this is one thing I have noticed uh, with these containers, and they mentioned them in the description. How do they link? Magnets. How do they work? Uh, 
Just like the Kato containers, they have little uh, magnetic strips inside and they will fit magnetically. So let's check out one of my Kato containers, uh, American President Lions 40 foot box, which came from one of their uh, Max C1 uh, well car sets. And let's see that link up. So here's the uh, Roland cars and here's the Kato cars. All right, wow, okay. Let's see if there's any discrepancy in the sizes. I don't have a caliper, so I can't really make accurate measurements, but they look they look and they feel like they're exact dimensions. But the important thing is they oops. Important thing is that they, they do link up magnetically. And that's wonderful. This is a deluxe, which does not use magnets or tabs. They want you to use uh, the little putty, uh, the little container glue, they call it. You can use the container glue and uh, have that link up. The only negative thing I found out with these is that there's no bottom detail. There's no ribbing. It's just flat plastic. And normally, as you can see, this is a deluxe China shipping container from China. And this is an evergreen container, Walther's. As you can see, they both have the bottom detail with the bottom ribbing and the little indentation for the uh, chassis. So I'm sure you could put these on some chassis. Actually, let me see if it has the... Uh, it does have the end indentation, but not... Uh, no detail on the bottom. So, so far, I think these are really, really good containers. And I hope this Rawlin' company comes out with more. I'm gonna check out the 20 footers here. And this also has the little tiny uh, foam pad to just, I guess, keep them from damaging each other. But these are magnetic also. Let's see if they do. Uh, again, no bottom detail. Uh, this is a 20-footer China shipping from Deluxe, which uh, does have some bottom detail. Um, actually, also, if you look at this, this is the, if you look at, if you compare the detail here, you have the forklift indents here, which is kind of exaggerated, but on the Roland one, they're a little more subtle. Obviously, if you're going to, uh, put these together they go usually go in the bottom well uh, I want to see if you could wait oh interesting I want to see if you could open these and wait them so I'll see if that ever works but so far these are wonderful containers and uh, um, I do hope this company makes more of them if you go to their website uh, you won't see much information on the container lines, just general information on the company that they're based in China and they're, I think they're an OEM manufacturer. So I don't know if they, they, they're unlike any of the other containers as you've seen. So I don't know if they manufacture any other container for any other company, but so far these look good. So now we're going to try to see if they fit in any of the well cars. All right, we're at my layout. Uh, these are some Walther's 48-foot well cars. And I have a K-Line train, a UP intermodal here. Let's see if they fit. I'm sure they do, but uh, I'll just double check. Well, no problem here. These wells are made for 48-foot containers, so they're wide enough. Now let's go to the Kato. Maxi one, which I got recently. I actually bought this from not only Model Train stuff, but the actual MB Klein store in Maryland when I went to the East Coast on vacation a few months ago. So I bought this uh, Maxi one set there. It was sold out on the website, but they had they had one in the store, so I bought that. So let's see if this fits. And if it doesn't fit, try my little trick, <laughs> my hair dry trick. Ooh, 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 ooh. It fits. Wow, it fits. Okay, now let's try the deluxe cars. Now my train go a little ahead.
think one of my cars is derailed. Anyways, deal with that later. Here is the twin stack cars. Deluxe twin stack. Now they have tiny wells, but sometimes you gotta add some. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa! It fits. It fits. And pretty nicely. Well, I, I didn't need to use a lot of force to put it in. So uh, it definitely fits. So. We have a winner here, and um, I just want to show you something I discovered uh, before putting them on here. So check this out. So here's the last thing. Uh, I like to put weights on my bottom containers so the cars will track better and not derail. Uh, and I discovered how to open these up. Now, uh, all you have to do is get an X-Acto knife, um, flip the container over to the bottom. This is the bottom edge, the bottom floor, and just stick it in. Uh, here and you will a you're able to open it up and this is what it looks inside uh, you got a little magnet here that at the top of the container at the ceiling of the container and you got a magnet at the bottom so um, I believe the Kato's also have uh, magnets on both tops and bottoms and if you ever want to weight the containers you could put you know um, your weights, you glue them on the floor. See how it uh, goes back together. Should be pretty easy. Yeah, there we go. Just snaps back. And let's try the 40 footer. Should work the same way. Get it, and then you flip it over, and you get your X Acto knife, and there, you wedge it through there. Be careful not to scrape anything and oh wow we have a trio of magnets here and a trio of magnets at the bottom here so if you want to put your weights you glue some weights at the bottom you know you could use lead weights i actually use uh, <laughs> I'm a musician so i have a uh, i play bass so i use uh either the b or uh E strings of a bass guitar. Use my used strings, chop them up, and glue them with caulk at the bottom of my containers. And what I also like to do is uh, get a dab of uh, liquid paper, white out, and mark a little dot on any of the uh, containers I have weighted. So if I'm loading up containers, I already know which ones have weights in them by the little dot. These Roland industrial limited containers are uh, a really good entry into the end scale container market i would uh, totally recommend them go to the walters.com site and uh, order them not too much because i still want to order some too <laughs> but here you go for the end scale intermodal model or these rolling containers are it so Look out for them.